If you've got a Bamboo Lab 3D printer in the X1 or the P1 range, or if you're in a Bamboo Lab online community such as a Facebook group, a forum, or a subreddit, you've likely seen people posting about risers such as these, but they don't always explain what they are or why they may be useful. And I often see a lot of people commenting on it asking what they are and why they have them. So I thought it may be helpful to post a quick rundown explaining what risers are and why you may or may not want them for your X1 or P1 3D printer. So let's take a look. There are a few different things that could be classified as risers for 3D printers, but in this video I'll specifically be looking at them in the context of the risers commonly used with Bamboo Lab printers in the X1 and the P1 range. As you've clicked on this video, you may be wondering what exactly is a riser? Well, most of the printers that we're talking about come with a removable glass plate that sits on the top of the printer. Risers are frames which you print out and then place on top of the printer where the glass would normally sit. Some will just have the glass plate on top of the riser and others will have a shelf or a slot where you can insert the glass shelf inside the riser itself. Great, but what are they for? What's the point in them? Well, there's a few different reasons that you might want a riser for your printer. Whilst enclosures are ideal for printing with materials such as ABS, many other filament types such as PLA and TPU require that the ambient temperature around the print isn't too hot whilst printing. There's a couple of reasons for this, but primarily it's to ensure that the material cools down as quick as possible after it's been extruded. If it doesn't, it will remain malleable and then cause either bigger droops in the overhangs or warping and deformation in the edges and corners. This is the reason why when you're printing with PLA, your cooling fan is on at around 100% for almost the entire print. But if it's hot inside the enclosure, it's only going to be blowing hot air over the print and it's not really going to be cooling it down. Printing in an enclosure traps the heat generated by the nozzle and the heat bed and this builds up over time. This is by design because as I said earlier, some materials such as ABS want a warmer environment to print in. But if you're printing something like PLA or TPU that wants a cooler ambient temperature, you could open the front door to try and let some heat escape. The heat rises and it's always going to rise up and get trapped near the top of the printer where air isn't properly circulating and the heat can't properly escape. This is the reason these printers come with a removable glass plate on top rather than a fixed lid. Bamboo Lab themselves recommend when printing with materials like this to remove this glass lid to let the heat escape. But if you've got a Bamboo Lab AMS and you've got that sat on top of your printer, which 95% of the people that have one of these printers and an AMS are going to do, you're not able to just remove the glass lid because that's what the AMS is sat on. With the addition of a riser, you're still able to keep your AMS sat on top of your printer whilst being able to fit and remove your glass plate whenever you want. I'm fairly sure, or at least hopeful, that this design flaw will be addressed when Bamboo Lab eventually releases a successor for one of these printers. But the ability to fit and remove this glass top plate whilst keeping your AMS on top of your printer isn't the only reason that you might want a riser. Another design flaw with these printers is that by default the PTFE tube sticking out the top of the extruder carriage is in contact with the bottom of this glass top plate. This means that when you're printing it's constantly rubbing along the bottom of the glass and wearing it out. Not only will this then sprinkle your entire printer with small PTFE particles, but it's also going to mean that this tube is going to need replacing significantly sooner. The pressure of the glass on the tube can cause the tube to be bent at a sharper angle, adding further resistance to the filament inside it. And whilst this certainly isn't the only cause, it can contribute towards the famed failed to unload error. The third reason that you might want a riser is that depending on which one you print, they can give you a ton of extra storage without increasing your printer's footprint. Well, those are the three primary benefits of having a riser, so should you bother with one? If you don't regularly print with materials such as PLA, TPU, or PVA, then you don't need to worry about cooling down the ambient temperature in your printer. If you do, but live in a colder environment and have your printer situated in an unheated room such as a garage, then you'll still probably be fine printing in these materials with the lid on, just opening up the front door, especially for shorter prints. If that applies to you, or you just don't have an AMS or anything else stored on top of your printer, you probably don't need a riser for the benefit of being able to remove that top glass plate. Otherwise, if you are regularly printing with things like PLA, TPU and other heat averse materials, and you've got an AMS or something on top of your printer, you are going to want a riser to prevent running into print quality issues. 
Whether or not you want a riser to extend the life of your PTFE tube, reduce the chance of unload errors, and add extra storage to your printer area will come more down to a personal preference. If you think printing a riser is the right decision for you, your next question is probably, which one do I go for? There is a whole range of fantastic designs out there, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. The one I've got here is one of the more popular ones known as the BLV AMS riser, and I'll pop a link in the description below to where you can download it. This gives you two drawers of storage, the ability to have the top glass plate either fitted to the printer or stored in a raised shelf, and an additional slot for a spare build plate. It's a super sturdy and solid build, and due to being so popular, there's a ton of mods and accessories designed for it, including these hex side and back panels, and my own LED gasket mod, which transforms the lighting in this printer compared to the stock light bar. I'll link to all of these in the description below. The biggest drawback for this one is the fact that it uses between 2.5 and, and 3 kilograms of filament, but in my opinion that's a worthy investment for something I've found so invaluable. If that's too much material for you, or you just don't need the ability to physically remove that top glass plate but would like the other technical benefits of a riser, there are a ton of other fantastic designs out there, many of which use significantly less material. Some are similar to the BLV or even mods of it, featuring things like additional slots for build plates, and others are lower profile, raising the glass away from the PTFE tube and featuring vents on the side that you can then open and close to release some of the heat through. Well, that's risers for the Bamboo Lab P1 and X1 printers in a nutshell. I see people asking about these every day online, so I thought I would do a simple summary. I really hope you found this video useful, and if you have, please do hit that like button down below. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, also hit that subscribe button. Just as a reminder, if you hit the join button and become a channel member, not only will you get all the usual channel member benefits, you'll also get a member's discount at 3drevolutionstore.com, where you'll find a large and growing range of 3D printing and maker-themed clothing and accessories, and you'll be supporting me. More importantly, and as always, thanks very much everyone, and until next time, happy printing. If you're just getting set up with your Bamboo Lab printer, why not learn how to use Bamboo Studio in my beginner's tutorial? And if you feel like you've moved past that, you can check out my Bamboo Lab advanced tutorial. As always, a huge thank you to my channel members, and until next time, everyone, thanks very much, and happy printing.